Good afternoon, Sunny. How are you? Good afternoon, Anton. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to those people watching on the live stream and watching on the replay. We're actually talking to Sunny De Leon of Poco Delhi. And uh, I'm so excited. This is the first time we've met. Uh, at least online again <laughs> after the <laughs> pandemic. And um, we're talking to Sunny about the learnings uh, during the pandemic. No? What happened with Poco Deli? Yeah. Um, they have a outlet in Barangay Capitolio, Makati, BGC. And now he is live streaming from Coron. <laughs> so, and wow, <laughs> ang bilis ng internet sa Coron. No? <laughs> Uh, thank God, uh, 150 Mbps na ang uh, globe fiber dito. So, finally! <laughs> finally. So, we can do this discussion. So, uh, that, that's very good. Now, uh, if you wanted to join the discussion, please put uh, questions on the comments or just listen to our discussion. Um, my name is Anton Diaz, founder of Our Awesome Planet. So, we're talking to Sunny De Leon on learnings from Poco Delhi. Okay, game, uh, Sunny. Hey, game. Siguro, yes. Maybe you can uh, introduce uh, Poco Deli for those people na hindi pa familiar with Poco Deli. And then we'll show some uh, food photos afterwards. Sige. So, Poco Deli is a small brand. Uh, we're a family run uh, delicatessen. We started in 2008. So, we're now 12 years. Wow. And uh, we just started as a small retail shop in Capitolio with a you know a chiller with sausages, cheese. Uh, essentially, a, a delicatessen is a European uh, specialty store, right? Uh, all it's it's like a candy store. Everything that makes you happy is is in a deli. Uh, and then uh, after six months, people ask for tables and chairs. So gusto nila umupo, to eat and all that. So we added uh, eventually the restaurant. And uh, eventually we added, uh, you know, pizza, pasta, calios, lengua, etc. So uh, it all just organically grew. And then after two years, we decided to open uh, a new location in Makati. Uh, and then after Makati, after I think four years, we opened in uh, BGC. And then after another two or three years, uh, Coron. So not, that's why we're here in uh, Palawan. Wow. So uh, we're not aspiring to be, you know, a huge uh, chain of business, etc. We we just love to cook. Uh, we love to share our recipes for friends and family. So yeah, it's it's really more like a na neighborhood shop. Okay, so uh, maybe you can share the story of this food. These are the food that you were serving during the pandemic. Uh, before oh. we go to your learnings, maybe you can walk us through some of the food. Uh, what Sige. is this? Yeah. So uh, this particular one is a uh, cold cut and cheese uh, charcuterie box. So essentially what happened one sometime in uh, October, November is uh, people probably got tired cooking at home. And so they wanted something which was uh, madali. Di ba? Uh, so parang instead of going out to a bar or, or a restaurant, you could uh, grab a box like this and some wine. And you have a date, right? You have a date with your special someone or something you could share in with family, etc. And then uh, eventually, when yung mga inuman, yung mga Zoom parties, no? Yes. So November, December, yung mga bossing, siempre gusto nilang treat yung team nila, but they could not gather together. So we made uh, thousands of these uh, boxes. Because the wow. boss wanted to be able to communicate the message na we're still a team, I'm looking <laughs> out for you, we want to celebrate. So, masaya uh -huh. pa rin, in a so way. So, you can send. So, you can send it. Ganon. Yes, yes. You, you can send it. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay. So, tapos, uh, yeah, pag may birthday. So, parang this, this box was uh, something that, uh, you know, is, is available throughout the year. Throughout Especially, the year. Uh, throughout Galing. the year. So, Galing. most likely... Uh, Valentine's na naman. Marami naman mag-date <laughs> at home. <laughs> date at home, no? Oh, ito. Ito naman. Ano to? What, oh, what so, so, syempre, hindi ka naman pwedeng kumain ng uh, bacon and eggs every day, di ba? So, sabi nung iba, ah, can we use the bacon slab to make ramen? 
kasi nakikita namin sa internet na yung you know ramen is now made of different things and so we decided to to share with uh, you know uh, our audience or our customers uh, a ramen made out of bacon slabs sliced bacon slabs so ayun so you're famous then, for your bacon slab diba uh, yes, what's the story yes. what's the story of the bacon slab so the bacon slab was uh, quite simple uh, i wanted to serve bacon and eggs But my wife Joy, who's really the chef, said, oh, "We cannot serve the usual bacon, na uh, manilipis kanya." Sabi niya, "Kung magserve tayo ng bacon, gusto ko one inch thick." Sabi ko, "Ha? Hindi <laughs> ba overkill yon? Kanyan kanyan." But uh, I guess uh, the rest is history, right? It's, uh, it's our number one item. Uh, so you you can get it as a slab of uh, you know 12 inches or 6 inches, but usually we just serve it uh, one inch uh, thick. So it's uh, fully cooked and smoked and ready to eat, uh, directly seared, grilled, or or part of carbonara. So very flexible. Very flexible. Wow. Uh-huh. Okay, next. Ito, ito yung favorite rin namin. Oh. Maybe you can check it with... Uh, with... Oh, Nuremberger. So basically, this is the specialty uh, sausage of uh, Nuremberg in Germany. And uh, we got this recipe from uh, uh, a German butcher. So it's a very traditional recipe. It's, uh, it's like a baby sausage. So yung casing niya is uh, yung lamb, lamb intestine. Tapos uh, pork siya and some spices. So medyo brown siya kasi we don't add any preservatives, etc. And it's just smoked and grilled. So masarap siya at uh, super healthy. Yon. So again, for sharing, if you have a pack, it's uh, good for the entire family. Pang baon before, a lot of kids like this. So you still make it? Yes, yes. We still make everything from scratch. From scratch. Yes. Wow, galing ah. Oh. Uh, yan ang gusto oh. kong tanuin sa'yo mamaya. But, <laughs> oh, sige, ito to. Ito naman, oh. the pancheta. It, it, ito naman, this is an innovation on the bacon. So sabi namin, if you want to be known for our bacon, we want to make all sorts of bacon german bacon japanese bacon italian etc etc so this one is the italian uh, bacon so essentially it's a uh, bacon that's uh, parang porchetta it's uh, rolled and then it's uh, cured and smoked for about uh, six to eight hours and then it's made to uh, air dried so parang dry age for about a week and then uh, we just slice it up again it's ready to eat Uh, good as a pika pika or you know uh, with bacon and eggs, but ito, oh. this one was uh, freshly sliced. So popular to during the pandemic then. Ito, uh, we launched this maybe three or four years ago, so it's it's continues to be a bestseller. Because it's a unique shade, right? Bacon na oh. bilog. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, ito, yeah. yung mga sausages. Ano to mga sausages? I think. Oh, it's... yung yung sausages naman, yung poko deli sausages are all fully cooked. So, pagdating mo sa bahay, all you have to do is uh, thaw it out, maybe overnight in the fridge. And then, uh, you either pan-grill it or pan-sear it, ganyan. Or yung pangirang, yung pinost ni Rachel na nasa vacuum packed uh, plastic, i-heat lang for 5-10 minutes. Tapos, mm-hmm. okay na yon. Uh-huh. Now, uh, syempre, you can't just eat sausages every day, di ba? So, ginawa mm-hmm. ng mga anak ko, binake nila. So, yung favorite veggies, whatever's available sa palengke, linagay nila. Tapos yung sausage, sas lagay lang sa oven for mga 15-20 minutes, mga 300 degrees. Ano na, game na. Yan na yung centerpiece ng ano, dinner for everyone to be shared. Alright. So, so All right. simple lang. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's uh, get right into it. So, so I'm interested. Okay. I think a lot of people are interested also. Um, how did you survive 2020? No, you have four restaurants, and then yes. you got stuck in Coron. <laughs> yes. Ano nangyari? What were the learnings during those times? Oh, sige. So, so essentially, we have uh, uh, y- yung Ayala kasi we Ayala redeveloped uh, Ayala Triangle, so they're building a tower. Okay. So, so lahat ng restaurants, oh, we we closed that in January alongside okay. everyone else. So ang natira was uh, Capitolio, the original one, uh, okay. BGC, Coron. And then we had two cafes, right? Yung Epic Cafe. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we have an Airbnb dito sa Coron. Okay. So uh, to be honest, kami yung unang tinumaan yung food and travel. 
Hmm. Kasi nawala na lang yung turista, tapos yung mga tao ay na kumain sa labas, etc. So, to be honest, we 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 panicked. Uh, we we thought it was the end of the world. Uh, but then after mga three or four weeks, so nung middle of April, sabi namin, anong mangyayari kung naka-lockdown lang tayo, loob sa ng loob ng bahay, lalo na sa Corona, the lockdown was pretty uh, stringent. So parang uh-huh. martial law, hindi ka talaga pwede pumabas. Uh, but then we realized na sandali, the stores were fully loaded with uh, steaks, uh, sausages, bacon, olive oil, all all uh, if you can see around here oh, oh. ginawa nandito lahat ng oh nandito lahat ng ingredients ng restaurant eh. so ginawa namin uh, essentially binenta lang namin yung ingredients to to the community kasi sa tumat- marami pa rin tumatawag eh. can i buy olive oil can i buy mm-hmm. butter uh, bread ganyan and then we asked the barangay and the local government sabi nila ano ba yung binebenta nyo? Namin, uh, tinapay, butter, oil. Ah, essentials. Sige, pwede kayong magbukas. <laughs> so, so, ano, uh, actually, we we opened. Uh, we were not open for dine-in, pero essentially, whatever we had, uh, may konti lang kaming markup sa sa cost namin. So, we we, we sold whatever we had in store. How did you manage the, the, ano, the Capitolio remotely or... Or hindi? Uh, you concentrated on Koron first? Paano ba? Ngayon. Oh, uh, una, uh, we started in Koron kasi me, Joy, and my our two kids two kids were here. So we were staying in our Airbnb na uh, wala namang kusina. So we had to come here to cook and eat, etc. <laughs> and then, may, yan, si Label, pumapasok na lang. Oh, can I buy this? Oh, sige, sige. <laughs> so <laughs> mga ganyan, di ba? La Michi, si Michi, Halos every other day, nandito yan, bumibili ng pasta niya, sauces, etc. <laughs> Tapos, nainggit yung Manila. Sabi nila, uh, Sir, can, pwede mo natin buksan yung Capitolio? Sabi ko, ano bang policy, ano bang protocols? Sir, pag essentials, okay. pwede. Eh, ta- timing, uh, that, that's where our office is. Uh, so we have uh, stay-in employees. Okay, uh, that's good. Joy, uh, Joy sister was there. So, so within uh, literally 200 300 meters that's where we live uh, that's where our office was and that's where Poco was so pwedeng magbukas kasi hindi ka na magta-travel eh di ba uh-huh. so so yung mga kapitbahay uh, you're buying then you know, grab ordering ganyan so ganun din tuloy-tuloy lang siya dahan-dahan lang nothing okay. major oh but where do you make the production in uh, Capitolio or in yes oh, or oh. in it's... in uh, so two things uh one is uh 80% still made in uh, our commissary in Capitolio okay. so we have our we have our uh, smoker there we have our you know grinders etc cetera, etc cetera. pero nung nagkahirapan sa shipping dito sa Coron walang walang aeroplano walang barko I was brown out, etc. Uh, aba, maraming mga baboy. Di ba? Tapos yung mga baboy dito, sobrang healthy. Mga island pigs. Oh. Uh, yun. Yun na yung oh. naging bacon at sausage dito. Ayan, oh. <laughs> <laughs> masarap ba? Mas masarap ba yung mga, ano, from Coron? Pare, uh, parang free range. Masarap. <laughs> Next time, nandito ka. <laughs> Papasyal so, ka. Um, Oh nga. Uh, so pwede na bang pumunta sa Coron? Uh, it's still covid free, di ba? Or what what's the yes. status? Coron is covid free. Uh, we already get I think two flights a day starting uh, last week of December. Uh, pero syempre parang bubble yung travel eh, di ba? So straight mm-hmm. to the resort, ganyan. So oh. hindi pa rin wala kang makikitang gumagala-gala pa na. Ah, so there's nobody uh, going around the town. Okay. No, no, no. Oh. Pwede yung parang end to end. Parang by appointment, kinyan. So, so ganun. So, what, what, what did you learn with uh, all of these things? I, I'm sure it was really hard <laughs> when yeah, it was happening. Yeah. And, I, and, and we still have problems now, no? Uh, what, yes, what yes, did you yes. learn that people can learn from? Okay. Uh, I, I think the first thing is when, when you're in a panic, uh, when you're in, it's like quicksand, diba? You're you're just, you know, uh, nalulunod ka, di ba? Hindi ka na makahinga, hindi ka na makatulog. Ako, I had frozen shoulder, I could not sleep, wow. di ba? All of that. Sabi namin, the first thing we will do is uh, 
Sorry, medyo PNG ah. SWOT uh-huh. analysis. <laughs> diba? SWOT okay. analysis. So, what are our strengths? Uh, what are our weaknesses? What are the opportunities? And the threats. And the threats. Okay. Diba? Kasi sabi namin, Naku, naiwan na tayo kasi lahat na nag-online, nagluluto sa bahay, wala na, our market is gone, di ba? Pero, eh. pero, oh, pero sandali, ano, ano ba yung meron tayo? Ano yung wala tayo? So that was the first step that uh, we did. So sa bahay nga, I mean, meron kaming mga blank sheets of uh, paper, tapos yun lang, sulat lang ang sulat. Ano, yung, ano ba yung meron pa tayo? Ano yung wala na tayo? Ano yung uh, hindi natin kaya, di ba? So, gano'n. So, mga 2 to 3 weeks yun na ginagawa namin yung SWOT analysis. Oh. Okay. Tapos, okay. after that, uh, tiningnan namin, ah, yung poco deli sausage natin at bacon, best in class pa rin to. Di ba? Okay. Lalaban to kahit anong produkto. So, yeah. we, we focus on our core, which was uh, bacon slab, sausages. Uh, I think until now, oh, wala. Yes. It was hard to make kasi Oh, it, actually, the mo, a lot of people have you know uh, tried it, but oh. unless it's really your passion, di ba? Parang ang hirap niya gawin eh. Parang bakit mo gagawin, di ba? Parang oh. bumili ka na lang. Oh, so so Pero that's question. the first one. Oh. Question dun sa SWOT analysis mo. Di ba Koron is so small, tapos there are no tourists. Hindi ba kayo na discourage, uh, you know, providing a small, you know, total addressable market in the Koron city? Oh. Well, uh, yung, yung Koron, sabi namin, for as long as mabayaran namin yung empleyado namin, kahit kami wala nang bayad, walang kita, basta we had, uh, we had a total of 25 employees here. Okay. Pero wow. uh, when, when the pandemic hit, nag-rotation kami amongst 12, yung core namin na 12. And then, uh, basta, basta masuelduhan lang natin itong mga to. Uh, patuloy tayo. Ganun lang yung ano namin. That's good. Yeah, that's sec- a good sec- Second is, we realized there are a lot of uh, retirees here who live on yachts. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Di ba? Sa Coron Bay, etc. Uh, oh, maraming expats. And uh, ito yung core core audience namin. Na, Siyempre, Mm-hmm. Ayaw naman nila kumain ng, di ba, local food eh. Gusto nila yung mga European, di ba? Comfort yes. food nila yon. Oo. Pero alam so, niyo yan before? Or, uh, or dati, dati uh, 80% of our sales was really tourists. Uh, di ba? So, mga 10% were locals, local businessmen, local business owners. And then 10% uh, yacht, yachtis, the yacht people. Uh-huh. <laughs> Medyo hindi namin sila pinapansin. Pero nung lockdown na, wala na lahat. Sila na lang yung dumadating. <laughs> Tapos pag tinatanong namin, oh, saan kayo nakatira? Ah, we live in the boat. Oh, ah, okay. There was a trend na, oh, we live in the boat. We live in that yacht. Mga ganyan-ganyan. Oh. Uh, so galing. we started, we started uh, you know, getting to know them. And then... Uh, uh, trying to ask for ano bang kailangan nila, and then we were just providing what they need. Galeng, galeng, galeng. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, um, in terms of ano naman, so so for Coron, you answered it. Uh, I guess the Barangay Capitolio had uh, you have your loyal audience, no? Um, so was it hard to get that started, um, or mm-hmm. hindi naman? Actually, mahirap kasi ah, mahirap remember. Eh. Uh, Manila, we had to do a similar SWOT analysis, di ba? Uh-oh. Kasi Manila has uh, easier access to supplies, eh. Uh-oh. So, yes. oh, ano yung, nangyari? Yes. Oh, yung bagong, bagong competitor namin, ayaw kong tawagin kalaban kasi I mean, we're all suffering, di ba? Oh, so, yes, of course. So, yeah. uh, yung bago naming uh, competitor are mm-hmm. all the home-based uh uh, entrepreneurs or yes. oh, dumami or, sila during dumami the- oh kasi uh, they don't pay taxes they don't have uh, you know labor costs uh, rental yeah. costs etc oh. etc so and, and they're selling the same thing right so, so mm-hmm. bacon uh, sausage etc so sa sabi namin um, what will how will we be different 
So sa amin, we also went back to the fundamentals na quality product, di ba? Uh, alam mo yung linalagay mo dyan, alam mo sinong nagluluto, sinong mm-hmm. nagsusmoke. So we, we just stuck to that uh, strategy. And then, uh, hindi kami lumaban sa mga price war, ganyan. Mahirap eh, kasi when you do a so price same war... same pricing? Same pricing lang? Uh, nung oh, nung uh, some of our landlords uh, gave us a reprieve sa rent. Okay, uh, that's good. We, we passed on the savings to our uh, customers. So we lowered the price okay. by about uh, 25%. No. That's good, wow. And so, uh, how about the, ano, did you sell the, yun nga, yung mga raw materials or even your wine? What happened in that area or you decided not to pursue that? Well, uh, may, may liquor ban, di ba? So mm-hmm. uh, as soon as the liquor ban was lifted, uh, again, we we get, we sold the wine for you know very low margin, halos fifty uh, percent less than uh, dine-in. Kasi nga hindi naman nila kinukonsumat in the store, wala naman kami cost, so pinaso uh-huh. namin yung savings sa sa mga customers. And how was that? Was that, was that okay? Oh, kasi syempre, uh people still well well people will sabi ko nga kakain naman ako ng sardinas araw-araw eh, di ba? Pero kahit isang araw, kain tayo ng bacon, di ba? kain tayo ng cheese at konting wine. Uh-huh. Di ba? So, yung insight na yun, parang nandun eh. Uh, mm-hmm. Sige, tipid-tipid tayo. Pero one day, kain naman tayo ng masarap. O as a family, tao, share-share tayo. So, uh-huh. nandun yung insight na yun. Uh, and, and people are still willing to to spend. Kasi wala naman sila, lalo na sa Manila, wala ka namang gagastusin. Di ba? You uh-huh. can't get out, you can't travel. Uh-huh. So... And what, what happened during the holidays naman? Going to the holidays, um, did you open for dine-in? What happened ba? Um, kasi some some realized na some people did not have any more money towards December. Some had to go out. What was your experience during the holidays? So, uh, nung holidays, uh, tatlong klaseng, ano eh, uh, parang, ano tawo nito, uh, Ayoko naman tawag yung target audience, pero tatlo yung markets eh. Oh, tatlo so, markets. Uh, num- number one, uh, when the people who had the money to spend and were, were adventurous enough to go out, kasi nga, naloloko na kami sa bahay. Ayun, <laughs> <laughs> lumalabas yan, di ba? Uh-huh. Of course, following the safety protocols, etc. Uh, the second set, na want to feel safer, etc., Ito yung maghahanda sa bahay kasi they 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 know, you know, they can cook, etc. But uh, they upgraded the experience by getting good ingredients, right? And yeah. and that's that's what uh, we were able to help them out with. Okay. The the third set, yung talagang no, I will just stay home, I will not get out, etc. Ito yung mga bumibili ng mga mga cold cuts and cheese na box. Mm-hmm. Diba? Uh, gift set or bumibili ng frozen kalyos or frozen lengua kasi hindi naman ako marunong magluto tapos gusto ko lang kumain ng lengua eh kung magluluto ako ng lengua isang araw yan tapos yung ingredients saan dami dami pero I just want to eat this particular food I'm craving for it sige mm-hmm. I'll, I'll buy one pack and then I'll, I'll thaw it and then heat it in uh, diba? boiling water so, sarap Tapos. So anong ano? Anong ratio niyan uh, sa tingin mo uh, in your audience? Uh, it's a uh, mga 30 uh, 50 20. Mga ganyan. Ah, talaga. Wow. Uh, okay. Pero pero ngayon, parang parang mas marami na yung gusto bumili ng ready to eat eh. Parang tinatamad na yata magluto. Oo, oh, actually, at the start rin ako rin eh. Ang dami yung mga oh. DIY, di ba? Tapos ngayon, oh. pag may DIY, oh. <laughs> pwede pa nung ito sila. Initing ko na lang. <laughs> Hindi, alam mo, yung masarap magluto, ang nakakapagod maglinis, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> yung clean up. <laughs> now, uh, going back to Barangay Capitolio, ano nangyari sa mga restaurants doon? Uh, would you know what happened in the area? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, we're we're in touch with our team there uh, every day kasi nga, sister in law yung papatakbo doon. Uh-uh. Unfortunately, I think uh, 80% are have uh, forced to close. Uh-huh. Uh, oo, kasi ano eh, ang problema sa Capitolio, we used to have uh, Four entrance points, right? You could uh-huh. enter Capitolio, one, yes, two, three, four. Four 
Ngayon, isa na lang. So, ah. hindi na siya pass-through. Uh-oh. So, medyo doon pa lang na-limit mo na yung market. Uh, second, uh, most of the investors there na who own the property, syempre, they, they still need returns. Uh-oh. So, they, they were still forced to uh, charge rent eh, after a certain time. Hindi talaga kaya eh. Hindi so, ka <clears throat> oh. so okay. yun, yun yung profile ng Capitolio. It's like a pass-through uh, location eh. Uh, pero I think Cafe Juanita is still there. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And then tama, you guys. Tama. Yes. Kayo yes. mga original diyan eh. Sino? Yung mga original, uh, siguro kasi doon kami nakatira, di ba? Empleyado <laughs> namin naglalakad lang. So, oh, exactly. Okay, yeah, uh, exactly. So, iba-iba yung dynamics eh pag uh, parang extension lang ng bahay mo kaya. So, Uh-oh. Pero um maybe let's go to the your next door the BGC. Uh, some of your mga kapitbahay doon nagsarado na eh. Can you discuss uh, uh, what happened in BGC? Diba? That's that has a very unique problem then and how did you guys do the SWOT analysis for BGC? Oh, uh, si si BGC since it's now the new headquarters of uh, big business. Yung core core mo talaga doon na uh, customers would be the executives, the ones who go to office, etc. Ah, okay. Mga Hindi boss, ba yung condo? Ganyan. Hindi ba the condo people? Yung condo as a percentage of the total market, uh, oh. siguro nasa mga 30% siya. Eh. Ah, talaga. Diba? Okay. Oh, so, pero by and large, it's still, it's still the offices that uh, we serve. Oh. Oh. So, we reopened BGC, I think, in uh, July or August. Uh, kasi sabi ni Ayala, oh, ano, we're, we're going to give a rent reprieve uh, okay. to help. Hindi to naman help, free. Uh, hindi naman free. Uh, hindi free, hindi free. Sana free. <laughs> <laughs> reprieve lang, okay. Uh, 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 so, ano na lang, X percent lang of uh, you know, what, what, whatever uh-huh. sales, which was, which was truly a big help and we're very grateful okay. for that. So because of that we we were able to open very slowly. Mabagal talaga yung ano uh, BGC. But uh, we realized yun nga we were serving a very unique uh, niche uh, those mm-hmm. who you know wanted quality, uh, want the diversity of their food and then of course our core loyal uh, audience. Uh gusto pa rin eh. uh, so tumatawag tapos oh pwede bang magbukas kayo ng ganyan ganyan. So Parang, parang ganun. It was really the core loyal audience that uh, made us survive PGC. Wow. Uh, galing, ah. Galing, galing. Um, how about Epic? Um, you mentioned Epic Coffee, no? Uh, let's close that also. I know you have yeah. that in Capitolio and uh, oh. in Coron. <laughs> Pero since walang drive through traffic or walk-in traffic, paano nangyari dun? Oh, So, uh, it's a uh, tale of two cities, di ba? So, si Epic uh, uh, Capitolio, it's an eight-year-old uh, store, right? So oh, yes. it has it has uh, pivoted in its own way uh, the last eight years. Uh, okay. We were we, we were the first uh, parang travel and bike cafe. So the first three years doing very well, until uh, twelve new competitors came into the area, and then you know uh-huh. we we had to change several times. Times. Uh, this COVID, we tried reopening three times. Uh, but because of the policy of uh, health protocols, now you can only do 30% capacity. Oh, uh, hindi talaga kaya. Then we collaborated with uh, one of the best bike shops in, in the Philippines. We converted mm-hmm. it into like a bike cafe. Okay. Uh, again, walang supply ng bikes, etc., etc. Eventually, we had to uh, we had to close it. Okay. Oh, kasi Bawal eh. Bawal, bawal na tumambay sa cafe eh. Oo, diba? bawal, di ba? O, yun oh, nga. Oh. Okay. So, wala talaga. Okay. But, but, uh, the one in Coron is uh, oh. thri- thriving. Kasi, Bakit? Oh, why? Uh, number one, we're on the main street uh, yes. and we're beside the the municipio. Mm-hmm. So, yes, so, correct. so, Epic became uh, parang a convergence point. So, if you want news about what's happening uh if you want to 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 hear some encouragement or <laughs> gossip <laughs> so 
nagpupuntahan yung mga tao. And then, uh, at some point, nung wala na talagang pera yung mga, particularly, we have a lot of uh, expat na mga, ano yun, mga, you know, you know, some of the people who lost their jobs. Yes. Uh-huh. Bibigay kami ng libreng kape or or, or, or pizza. Yung, alam mo yun, parang, parang tulungan lang. Tapos, uh, so it was, it became a place for people to congregate and to just, Listen to some good news and encouragement. So nabubuhay siya. It's it's not it's not making money. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero it's surviving and it's uh, I'd like to say it will it will thrive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But oh. um, overall uh, do you think uh, the restaurant can survive in this kind of mode going into 2021 or what needs to happen for you know more restaurant to survive? I think the first one we really have to look into is who are we serving? Okay. Diba? So who are you trying to serve? And uh, is what you are offering still relevant? Okay. Uh, that, that's the first thing we'll, we'll have to look into. Second is how do you cut down all possible costs except for the ingredients and the product? Diba? Kasi at least it, that's our philosophy na best okay. possible meat, best possible olive oil, best possible lahat. Sa iba, pwede tayong magtipid. Sige, wag na natin bayaran si Sunny at si Joy. Diba? Uh-huh. Sige, tumira na lang tayo tabi-tabi. Pero uh-huh. yung product kasi, ano eh, that's parang sacred to us. Eh. So that's the okay. second uh, thing you'll have to look into. Third is the delivery of the product, right? Or the experience. Mm-hmm. It, has, it has changed. So now packaging is so important, diba? Packaging not only for Instagram sake, but uh, packaging for convenience sake. Yes. Diba? How, how, how to be able to store it properly in the freezer. Yes. Uh, it will not spoil. How to be able to uh, heat it up, diba? Mm-hmm. Conveniently. Para pag-serve mo, ginugunting na lang. Nakita ko mo yung ginawa ni Rach, diba? Oh, <laughs> so, yun mga favorite namin, yung mga ganun nga eh. Oh, uh, oh. Kaila, kasi nasa Laguna kami. So, oh, right oh. here, dapat dumating yung product, ma-okay pa din. Di yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Kasi hilong-hilo yung product eh. Oh. Sa delivery. <laughs> and then lalo na nga, sa amin. Lalo na sa amin kasi we don't add preservatives and we don't oh, add all this uh, yeah. stuff. So, ang philosophy na amin is the best way to preserve is freeze. Diba? So, uh, mm. basta frozen siya, okay siya. So, okay. Inisip ko nga, anong papadala ko sa'yo? Kasi para pagdating, frozen, frozen pa. <laughs> Initin na lang ni Rich. <laughs> ilang, mini, ilang hours ba yun? Ah, hindi. Well, if it's it's frozen, it can last for two to three days. Ah, okay. oh, wala namang problema. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Ang galing ah. na mo bang ano? Um, Traffic? Being in a corporate uh, versus <laughs> being entrepreneurial in a pandemic. Siyempre... I guess if uh, nasa corporate tayo, we would probably be not worrying about uh, the future, di ba? Oh, I mean, yeah. for as long. I mean, we, we both worked in a company na it's like an aircraft carrier, di ba? Nothing can <laughs> sink an aircraft carrier. So, <laughs> so ngayon, uh, I'm like, uh, you know, I mean, this little boat that uh, a lot of uh, waves are coming in and wind. So, <laughs> so, so stressful then, stressful siya. Uh, oh. Okay. And then uh, to close our discussion, siguro, uh, let's go 2021. Uh, no. And a lot, I know a lot of people are still having problems, but at the same time, very hopeful. No, uh, We're at the start of the year. A lot yes. of people are planning. People are thinking na, ano na ba ang bagong trends ngayon? Kasi nga, hindi na siguro nag-work yung mga trendy food nung yes, <laughs> 2020. Yes. Um, what do you think would happen and any advice for them uh, for this 2021? Oh. Ako, uh, first of all, is I think food or cooking has become even more important. Okay. Diba? Kasi, uh, first, in terms of health. In terms of health, yung pwede na lang talaga natin gawin habang wala pang vaccine is how to be healthy. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, so that's why everything we can do to stay healthy, so we're probably exercising more. Uh, sleeping better, di ba? And then, of course, you have to eat well. Hindi ka na pwedeng puro junk food or pwede mga uh, whatever highly preserved food items, di ba? Uh, second is important food kasi 
yung food na ngayon yung parang to like give of yourself etc and then lalo na pag uh, kinain yung linuto mo ng mga loved ones mo di happy ka di ba may parang uh-huh. sense of purpose ka so so yon so food cooking is important uh, third is i think uh, kung hindi ka naman masyadong marunong or mahilig magluto uh, i think that's where people like us come in to help you out di ba na Either, you know, a bacon slab, you can uh, cut it up and to make carbonara or uh, sear it to, to make, a, you know, a, ba- a poco deli bacon slab in your home. Or uh, pwede mo siyang gawing uh, paella. I mean, so there, there are many ways by which people like us in the food uh, business can help out the home cooks uh, to, to have a pleasurable experience at home with food. Oh, so so that's my first point. I think uh, we'll we'll be more intentional maybe about food. Uh, we'll we'll probably be able to plan more. Uh, sige, ano ba is serve ko this week or next week? Ganyan. Kasi yun na lang yung simple pleasure natin, di ba? Napanood na natin lahat sa Netflix eh. Wala na tayong ibang gagawin eh. So, <laughs> oh, lalo na Pilipino, di ba? Oh, kumusta? Kumain ka na ba? Di ba? Nandun pa rin yun eh. Oh. So, so yun lang, how to make a healthier food, diba? being more intentional about uh, what we eat to stay healthy. Okay. Now, a uh, quick question lang. How much is the celebration culture affected your business? I mean, do you think uh, was it more of a lot of people celebrating at home, kahit na hindi lang birthday or, you know, simple pleasures in life, uh, celebration uh, at home? I, I think uh, celebration at home will... Uh, never go away, particularly in our culture. Uh, it's now a question of uh, how they are celebrating. Diba? So, ngayon, accessible na kumain ng lechon every day. Pero, hindi mo yan gagawin. Diba? Oh, I mean, hindi mo gagawin. Probably, oh, so, ano ba yung alternatives to lechon? Diba? Uh, it can be a roast, it can be uh, ano pa ba, ba mga whatever basta hahanap ka ng alternative so so ngayon yung mommy or in my case uh, yung daddy ng tahanan mag-iisip na yun ano yung full menu of what's available na mabibili ko or maluluto ko uh, and ito yung planuhin ko para pag nag-celebrate kami uh, ito yung ihanda ko di ba all right. Um, to close this, uh, I wanted to ask about Koron because we have an audience also that travels. Sure. I know that the traveling is uh, to resorts, no, specific to resorts. But yeah. any tips on traveling to Koron? Is it really safe to go to Koron these days? Uh, especially going to the summer. Uh, you know, any tips on planning trips to Koron these days? Uh, Recently, we we brought in our one of our baristas from uh, from Manila, uh, and uh, he's back. No, he's handling our uh, espresso machine. All he had to do is uh, do a test, uh, a swab test, test, and then uh, get get a clearance from the barangay, and then uh, travel clearance from the police, uh, PNP. I think all told. It, he spent like, I think, a day, and and it was more of he didn't know where to go, kaya natagalan siya. Natagalan. Pero uh, a lot of seasoned uh, travelers, lalo na yung mga some of the businessmen who have uh, you know made two or three trips back and forth, um, medyo mabilis naman. So medyo ano lang parang siyempre hassle pero. Pag nandito ka na, parang, oh sige, okay na, worth it yung, <laughs> yung uh, trinabaho ko. Oh. So there's no uh, quarantine required? Pag uh, negative ka, wala. Ah, okay. Oh. So you yes. should travel within 72 hours. Pag plane, pag plane. Pag, uh, pag boat, I think, uh, there's a different policy. So you need to do, I think, uh, Longer. certain period of quarantine. Pero pag plane, mas, uh, mas mabilis. Mas Walang mabilis. quarantine pag negative. Mm-hmm. Wow. Galing nga ng corona. No? Uh, I mean, uh, it's still COVID-free. Pero ang hirap rin ng hospital facilities yan, di ba? Tama ba? Well, to be honest, 
kaya talaga kami na stress dito kasi alam mo naman di ba yung binig uh, limited yung hospital facility so yun talaga ang number one stressor namin uh, <laughs> sige okay na na nine per brown out sige okay na wala na plano barko wala wala na makain ganyan pero <laughs> wag ka lang magkakasakit <laughs> oh at some point nga wala nga kaming mga testing kit di ba <laughs> so oh okay. nga so paano if you got uh, sa new hospital Daniires ano na well uh, Thank, thankfully, uh, Coron has uh, facilities, so, ah, so uh, there, there's in Culion, and then if you need to go to Manila, there's when may plano na, may mga oh, chartered yeah. flights, may mga seaplane, may mga chopper, okay. so may mga uh, maraming paraan. Oh, so hindi na sa masadong problema. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency ka. Uh-oh. All right. Uh-oh. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny. It's good to All right. maybe just to close, uh, invite them to go to go to Poco Deli, uh, invite the audience to try you guys out. Yeah, sige. So, guys, uh, if uh, you're in the BGC area, we have a Poco Deli there. Uh, if you're in the Ortigas, Capitolio area, there's also Poco Deli. And then if you're here in Coron. Uh, come over and uh, visit us. So basically, sausages, uh, bacon slab, uh, kalios, uh, pizza, pasta. So if you're tamad na magluto uh, sa bahay, uh, order from us or use our ingredients to cook at home. Happy cooking. Thank you. Ah, sorry. Uh, sorry, nakamute pala ako. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny, for uh, everything. No? Um, and thank you for sharing your knowledge. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, not people people should know that you were in marketing in PNG. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> are, uh, from based on experience. And uh, I think um, people can really learn a lot. And good luck. Uh, to Poco Deli and uh, we're planning a trip to Coron let's see baka okay. oh. pero bawal kids pa rin diba tama ba bawal kids no? tanungin ko tanungin ko oh, oh I, I, parang bawal yung smaller kids eh but I guess ah. diba no? parang may uh, may age but uh, so hindi na kayo babalik na Manila parang nahiyang ka na dyan sa <laughs> <laughs> hindi yung dalawa kong anak nag online schooling diba from Ateneo ah. and sa, sa CCF so they're they're here uh, natututo naman sila so, so tingnan natin good. diba yes. oh. and, um, you know uh, ang complaint ng mga tao sa Koron was the internet for the longest time <laughs> <laughs> Here, that there is now in 150 Mbps fiber. Wow. Sino ba yan? Globe, globe, globe. Wow. globe. Uh, <laughs> 2,800 uh, pesos a month, unlimited. Wow. <laughs> and then so, there are Wi Fi, but there are Wi Fi spots. Yes, there. yes. Oh, oh. Like, so, yeah. mabilis, all right. Thank you. So, yeah, thank you very much, Anton. All right. So, see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.